So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. Is that a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. Here's the thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. Oh, I really need to avoid dairy. You again? I thought you were dead. You can't come in. I've had lots to drink. Then look at me. You're in for a rough time, Moreau. Vega and I are neck and neck when it comes to holding liquor. Oh, yeah? Here we go. Shot one. Oh! What the hell is that? It tastes like the north end of a southbound goat. Bad move, Cortez. He wanted the duel, and he also picked the weapon. I brought my own bats, bro. Three parts horse choker and one part antiseptic mouthwash. That's not even a drink. And yet, here are our second shots. Unless you want to give up? That's all over. I'm gonna find a gun and let out a few rounds off. I am so big enough. I will join you. Have fun. Try not to kill the neighbors. Cortez. <sighs> Give me your damn horse choker. Mother of God, you are going nowhere near the shooting range. Just make it stop. Yeah, I think we're done here. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? 